Good evening, friends. God bless you. Um, we are studying the First Peter chapter 5, verse 7. It says, casting all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. And we are, we, we are trying to understand that how we can cast our anxiety on Jesus. Um, and we also are studying the Philippians 4, 8 because it talks about how we can uh, receive the peace of God because when we have peace of God then we will not have anxiety that means we have cast away our anxiety so absence of peace is a presence of anxiety absence of anxiety is a presence of God's peace and that is how we are trying to understand and we are particularly looking at uh, Philippians 4 8 it says that whatsoever finally brethren whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there by be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things, those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do and the God of peace shall be with you. So, Paul is uh, uh, talking here that he lists uh, the things, um, qualities, and says that you have heard about this, you have learned about it, you have received about it, go and do it accordingly, and then the God's peace will somehow come in you, and then when the peace will come, basically you have throw away your anxiety. And we are looking, first uh, First, we look at the word called what, what's your true. Then we looked at whatsoever things are honest. Today we are going to focus on whatsoever things are just. So let me just read, uh, focusing on whatsoever things are just. If that way, if we read Philippians 4, 8, it will go like this. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are uh, just, think on these things. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do and the God of peace shall be with you. So we need to, uh, and we, we also learned that the, the word thing is logizomai. Logizomai means take account of or calculate. And how we do that? Because first we have to find in the scripture. We have to read the scripture. We have to meditate on it. We have to heard about it. And then we have to take account of it. And when we do the taking, uh, when we start taking account of these things, the peace of God will come within us. So let us talk about what is whatsoever things are just. The Greek word for just is used here called dikaios. Dikaios, um, the meaning of dikaios is righteous, observing divine laws. So it is a righteous person who is observing divine laws and he is becoming righteous uh, or the righteous observing divine laws. And then, so just uh, our understanding of just is a uh, little bit confusing. There is a difference between fair and a just. Fairness and justice. We think that fair and just are same thing, but no, they are not. We live in a society where we say that we should be, uh, we should have equality. We should be judged uh, fairly. We should be, um, there should not, there should not be a racial bias. There should not be a gender bias. It should not be. We should be fair to everybody. That is a society we are living in. And that is a good thing. I'm not saying it is a bad thing. But when it comes to about God, can you say that is God is a fair or God is a just? What do you say? If our society says that everybody should be fair, everybody should be treated equally regardless of their religion, regardless of their ethnicity, regardless of their uh, socioeconomical background, they should be treated fairly. We are not saying that they should be treated justly. We use this term that everybody should be treated fairly, not everybody is tr should be treated justly. So there is a difference. So fair is free from bias, 
डिसऑनेस्टी और इनजस्टिस फेयर डिसीजन मीन्स ए फेयर जज वेन वी गेट वॉट वी ट्रूली डिजर्व इन अ गुड वे इज कॉल्ड फेयरनेस यू वर्क हार्ड यू शुड बी रिवॉर्डेड इट्स अ फेयर इफ समबडी डज समथिंग रॉन्ग यू शुड बी पनिश इट इज अ फेयर थिंग अवर ज्यूडिशियल सिस्टम शुड बी फेयर बट नाउ वेन जस्ट कम्स that is a different thing so god if i tell you that god is just god but god is a not fair god and you will be surprised how come god is a just god but god is not a fair fair god and that is why paul says that whatsoever is just paul is not saying that whatsoever is fair because god is not fair god is a just god that is the example in psalm 103 verse 10 it goes like this psalm 103 uh, 103 10 to 14 let me read it to you it says he does not punish us for all our sins he is he is that means he is not fair he does not punish us for all our sins he does not deal harshly with us as we deserve verse 11 for his unfailing love toward us those who fear him is as great as the height of the heavens above the earth he has removed our sins as far from uh, us as the east is from the west the lord is like a father to his children tender and compassionate to those who fear him for he knows how weak we are he remembers we are only dust so if you read this god is not dealing with us according to our sins or according to our shortcomings so he is not a fair god and thank god that he is not a fair god he is a just god so if you read again this verse 14 god has replaced fairness with a mercy verse 14 psalm 103 verse 14 for he knows how weak we are he remembers we are only dust so god is having a mercy on us so he is a just god now how you and me are justified because we are justified by faith scripture says that god is a just god so he took our sins he put on jesus christ and a jesus god he put our penalty on jesus christ and he bear everything and on behalf of jesus we are justified god is not dealing with us according to our sin so god is not fair god god is a just god and that is why paul says that whatsoever who whosoever just think about this now in our human mind of course it is we think that it is not fair to children to die or innocent people to suffer or bad things happen to good people it is very hard to understand that some people may have abundance while some people are going and die in hunger it is not fair this is our understanding and in some scenario we take this thought little further and we say that if 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 god is mighty god and if he is here this would not have happen if mighty god is present this would not have happened so we are always thinking about fairness and we are taking further and then we sometimes question if god is here this would not have happened and this is the same question maryam and martha had for their own brother in john 11:21 he says that jesus if he had been there sooner their brother would not have died if jesus would have come earlier their brother would not have died but we knew that what happened 
Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. The truth is, no matter how we feel, no matter how it's, it, the struggle look, uh, looks like in our life, but 1 Corinthians 10, 13 says, No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful. God is faithful. And he will not be, he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure. So if I, if I wanted to sum up this thing, I would say this way. Yes, God is omnipresent. Yes, God is omni, omnipresent, omniscient, omnipotent. He's all powerful, ever knowing, everything knowing, ever present God. He is there. And when we see, when we see that uh, the, 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 uh, the things happen and we started immediately thinking about about God's uh, what what God is doing here, but if you remember Matthew five forty five says, "For God makes His sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust." God is just, so that leads us to say that God does not cause the earthquake. God does not cause hurricane. God does not cause tornadoes. But he is right there. Right those places. And you have always seen the amazing survival, survival stories in midst of these natural disasters. We will never understand everything. We'll never know everything. But God does love us you we cannot advise we cannot question god because he is god he is a just god and he cares for you and 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 he is there in midst of these situations because what we know jesus himself says that john 10 10 says that jesus came so that we, me and you have a life and life of abundance. But what happens? The devil comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. We are living on a, in a fallen world. We are living in an enemy's territory. And that is why Jesus says that, look, you have trouble in the world, but I have overcome the troubles. And Jesus also said that I am sending you the Holy Spirit. To walk with you. When Israelites was wandering 40 years in the, in the wilderness. Jesus was walking with them as a rock. He provided them everything. Have you ever thought about that? Bible says that they, they, their shoes never worn out. But have you ever thought about that? For 40 years your size of your shoes changes. But that shoes adjusted. The size of your clothes changes. In 40 years. But they never needed a new clothes. It adjusted it. God took care of little, little things. We never see it. But that is why God is not fair. Because he's not dealing with us according to our sin. According to our sinfulness. But he's a just God. And he took all our pain and uh, a penalty on Jesus. And he, he paid penalty on our behalf. So when we think about it how God's heart is, who God is, how just God is. When we think about this, then the peace of God will come in us. And when the peace of God will come in us, the anxiety will disappear. That is why you need to read scriptures. You need to read Bible. You need to stay in a company of the people who has experienced the God's goodness. You need to listen to them and then you have to meditate on them. God bless you and thank you. We'll continue our study tomorrow.